Hello everyone. First of all, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the smoke detector spacing requirements as per NFPA 72. If you have a building with solid joist construction or beam construction. So let us start. The common spacing rules between the smoke detectors has already been discussed in our earlier video, which is part one. You can refer to that which is already available in NFPA 72 playlist on my YouTube channel. Let us have a thorough recap of smoke detector spacing. It has to be done in two steps. Number one would be like the nominal spacing which is 30 feet we need to consider. However, this nominal spacing has to be reduced or we need to apply the reduction factor to this based on some scenarios. If we have the ceiling surface which has solid joists or beams. Let us discuss the scenario one. If you look at the screen, we have scenario one. And in order to understand this particular scenario, just look at this part, these figures. Here we have solid joists and here you have beams. If your building is having either solid joists or beams, and if you met with this scenario, then how the spacing has to be done. I will explain you here. So now you have solid joists with depth less than 10% of the ceiling height or if you have beam in your project which is also less than 10% of the ceiling height then the design spacing or spacing between the smoke detector will be equal to the nominal spacing and no adjustment is required. So for example I will explain you you have a particular floor in which there are solid joists or beams and the depth of the solid joists or beams is less than 10% of the ceiling height. Then the spacing between the detectors will be equal to the nominal spacing. So it means the distance will be ST is equal to S perpendicular to the beam or joist and parallel to the beam or joist as well SD is equal to S. So what is S? S is the nominal spacing which is 30 feet. So 30 feet by 30 feet we can consider for scenario 1. So there is no reduction factor if you consider this particular scenario. In second scenario you have solid joists or beams but now the beam height or solid joist height is greater than or equal to 10% of the ceiling height and the spacing between the beams or solid joists is greater than or equal to 40% of the ceiling height then we need to place the smoke detector in each pocket as you can see on your screen so this will be scenario 2 let us discuss scenario 3 if you have any comments you can put your comments in the comment section so in scenario 3 if you have solid joist or beams and the depth of the beam or the solid joist is greater than or equal to 10 percent of the ceiling height and spaced less than 40% of the ceiling height then design spacing perpendicular to the beam is the nominal spacing reduced by half so SD is equal to half S no adjustment parallel to the beams I will explain you about this particular scenario with an example if you look at the screen I am going to draw one particular floor in which you have solid joists or beams and the depth is greater than 10% of the ceiling height and spacing between the solid joists or beams is less than 40% of the ceiling height then the smoke detector for example I will draw here the distance between the smoke detector perpendicular to this beam means this is the 
spacing. So this spacing will be half into S and this spacing will be same as S. So it means the distance between the smoke detectors perpendicular to the beam or joist will be SD is equal to half multiplied by S. What is S? S will be 30 feet. We already know as per an FPA. So SD will be 15 feet this way and here SD will be S. So which means 30 feet. In this way we need to distribute the smoke detectors in entire floor or a building. Thank you for watching my channel. If you like my content, please share, subscribe to get more information about firefighting systems and fire alarm systems.